Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Fatal 12. I start to teach Naomi how to brew coffee bit by bit while I continue to engage in the usual banter with Miharu and Mao. I don't know, this helps ease the tension in my heart though. So, we're waiting for several days to get the selection? Interesting. Oh wait, it's every week, right? Once a week? Hmm. I feel myself being pressured more and more by the reality that I've become a participant in divine selection again. In the dream world now? Hello? There are people in this world who don't deserve to live, and I've never had any issue counting myself among them. I spent my life stealing and killing as part of the Mafia in Southern Italy. I go to where I am today through countless betrayals. Who are you? Am I playing as him now? What's going on? I was never in the big leagues, but I managed to find success after success as a mafioso. So you know, I messed up when I shouldn't have and, well, died. Success wasn't imperative in the world I lived in, the key was to avoid falling. Failing. Because a single failure meant you'd be six feet under, and that's exactly what happened to me. It's funny though, turns out Lady Luck's impartial when it comes to whom she gives her blessing. Getting taught into divine the selection means I have the opportunity to live on. Despite my, despite my mistake, I've been given a new lace on life. I might not deserve to live, but that's irrelevant in the face of my desire to do so. So long as that desire is there, nothing else matters. That's the Federa Federico Arminati way of life. Ooh, so this is Federico Arminati. I failed only once in my life, and I'm determined to keep it that way. Wait, wait hold on. So if I do this, tip. So Location Beijing Eatery. Tip Wang Hua is practically an institution among Beijing's eateries. Speaking firmly to, to traditional Chinese cuisine, the owner seasons aggressively, making for some excellent fare. Having his dishes with with some 20 year age Xiaoxing wine will be an unfor unforgettable dining experience. Hmm, okay. I guess Lady Luck isn't the only one to pay me a visit though. Her much less unfortunate sister has made sure to stop by too. Oi, Omae. Who are you? Why are we here? This charming individual is Odette Ellen Khan. Is she one of the 12 people? Much like me, she's a participant in divine selection. Oh, she is. Under normal circumstances, we should be aiming to eliminate each other, but we've agreed to help one another out for the time being. Well, I guess it'd be more accurate to say that she's forced me into a truce. We use Capricorn as my code name when we're speaking. It's based on my zodiac sign. Capricorn? In turn, Vierge is how I refer to her. My only issue is that pronouncing French words is kind of tricky for an Italian like me. Anyway, I'm the one that suggested using code names. I did that mainly because our names are valuable info when it comes to eliminating others in divine selection. Ah, I see. Neither of us are supposed to know each other's real name. Knowing her, she's probably used some connections to pull my name out of that lake, but she won't tell me that straight up. Obviously, I know her real name as well, but I haven't told her. Keeping that stuff to ourselves is the reason our current relationship works in the first place. <laughs> Of course, it's in China. もともとが新王朝に宮廷料理だからな。誰の味が丁寧なんだ。それに寒い北京の気候に合わせてカロリーが高い。味も重要だが、私みたいな海の女にはカロリーが必要だ。特にこの北京ダックっていうのは。Oh, Peking Duck. Peking Duck is so good. Oh. Shovels more and more food into her mouth the second she quits yapping. This is her third plate of pecking duck. By the way, she's had plenty of gyoza and steamed buns in between too. Oh my gosh, so yummy. 
I just believe someone from France would order food like this considering how particular they are about their full course meals. Just watching her pig out makes my stomach ache. Okay. I mean, if I was in this divine selection, I'd lose. They'd be like, oh, oh, look, we know his name already. We know his name already. Oh, no, <laughs> I'd lose so fast. Really would hunt for someone too. Only problem is that it doesn't matter what kind of tank she recruits, she'd still beat both of us senseless. Ain't many people who can take her in a fist fight, men included. She's the head of a group teaming with tough seamen for a reason. Andy? Like that, she's baiting me into saying her real name. I already know the answer, but I ask anyway. She chugs more Shaoxing Ju before showing me a big toothy smile. Uh -huh. Yeah, because the card is written on that too. Shinmosoda. But I mean, Rinka didn't find any information on her death. I don't think that this will work. わかった上でコードネームを使うってんだからお前は小物なんだよ。使命なんてステロステロ。だが全員分の未練はカードでランダムに配布されてるじゃねえか。誰かが俺たちの未練のカードを持っているはずだぜ。初期カードはランダムな
Final day? You do? You guys be in Japan? ま、ついでに宿題の答え合わせをしに来たんだ。do you have a choke collar? A choker? Huh?私たちの船が襲われる直前、中国食品企業の重役さんが会議中に倒れたってニュースが入ってたんだ。As you might have guessed, Odette's the representative for a certain shipping company. Of course, we're talking about this woman, so in no way it's a plain old shipping company. Doesn't matter if it involves drugs or even dead bodies, they will take any job they... They are paid to do. In that regard, you could call them smugglers. Their existence is kept in the dark, though, likely because certain governments aren't shy about making use of them. But it's not quite accurate to say they'll take up any job, considering Odette makes it a point to turn down anything she considers boring. Certain circumstances led to my hitching a ride on her boat, which is how we ended up cooperating in the first place. <laughs> Yeah. Even takes a bite of food in front of my mouth when she says that. She, on the other hand, grabs a bottle of Shaoxingju and downs what's left in it. Oh, new person, maybe. The moment she mentions his name, the book beside her emits a strange light. It's a big, thick, auburn colored book with some gold leaf decorations on it. But there ain't no pages in it, just a big old hole in the middle when you open it. We've got the exact same book, see? It's some kind of card storing book used for divine selection. The dull light focuses into a single point once she opens her book. It gradually fades and in its place is a rectangular piece of paper. Odette catches it while it's hovering in mid-air. Wouldn't someone else see it? Seven. I don't get the regret part. That's, that's the one I don't get how people will find out. That girl who was going on about being a goddess mentioned that the cause of all her deaths has been undone. The fact that Odette was able to notice such a paradox proves that the girl wasn't lying. What? I yeah, you're just assuming. そうなると定結と。いや、企業の重役に登り詰めた奴が命に関わるミスを犯すとは思えない。会議中に突然死。脳梗塞か心筋梗塞だな。ああ。カードは出ない。だ。カードで guessing game, but she clearly isn't taking steps in the dark. Does the fact that a card didn't appear mean she's not on the right track? いや、カードが生成されるには条件があんのかもしれねえな。ローの名前に気づいていたのに、今までカードが出なかったのはなぜだ。わかるかよ、そんなもん。他にいないか迷ってみたらどうだ。お前も考えろってんだ。いや、待
directs a question toward the book as if it nod back. Amazing enough, it does respond. It reacts the same way as when she obtained Rose's name card. Wow, this rogue guy is screwed. I should mention that Odette went through the entire process while she continues to chow down her food. I, I'd planned on going easy on the booze so I could stay rational, but I ended up downing my drink as well. I figured that being stuck with her is a bad thing, but on the other hand, it might be perfect for me. This woman is going to be useful. Not often that you find someone who's got the brains to match their brawn, so I should be able to get rid of anyone in my way with her around. Oh, she cooperate with me though? Maybe she figures I have all the info I need on her. So she's doing this to make sure I don't hand anything off to the other participants. We were on the same boat when it sank, so naturally you'd think we both died the same way, and since I've got her name and cause of death, she wants to keep me in check. What she doesn't know is that I don't actually know her cause of death. She shouldn't know mine either. We might have died when the ship was attacked, but the actual causes weren't by drowning or, by, or from fire. In reality, the only info we have on each other is our names. Odette's just making it seem like she knows more so she can have leverage over me. Basically, this whole cooperation thing is a front so that she can get her hands on my info for when we're the last two remaining. The most important challenge of my life is about to begin. I ain't about to fail and I certainly ain't gonna let her drink me under the table. We end up drinking until all the wine in the restaurant is gone. What is going on? Are we playing as them now? What? Where are we choosing who we want to play as or we're we just switching behind? Oh my gosh, new people and Ro. Rochambeau is screwed. Rochambeau is screwed. He is gone. Oh! Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please smash that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. And don't forget to share this video and ring that little bell to get notifications of my uploads. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!